Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the best churros with chocolate sauce. My family and I devoured these churros the first time I tried the recipe. And good news, it's eggless and it can be made completely vegan for those of you with dietary restrictions. And before we begin, there are two things I wanted to mention. Firstly, I post a lot of updates and recipes that aren't on the YouTube channel on my Instagram and also a lot of sneak peeks and stuff like that. So if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Hot Chocolate Hit. And second of all, the full printable recipe for this video and for all the other videos is on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com with detailed instructions. So you don't need to make notes or anything. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the video. We're going to start by making the chocolate sauce that accompanies these churros. So all you need to do is combine 100 grams or roughly 4 ounces of chocolate, I'm using a combination of milk and dark, with 125 milliliters or half a cup of very hot heavy whipping cream. I put it in the microwave for around 30 to 45 seconds or until it's almost at a boil. I'm using heavy cream because I'm not actually vegan, but if you are, then feel free to use some coconut milk or soy cream. Let the mixture sit for a second or so and then give it a stir to combine, then set it aside. If necessary, you can reheat the chocolate sauce right before serving the churros so that it's nice and warm. So now we're gonna make the churros themselves. So I have here 125 grams of all-purpose flour, that's just under a cup. To the flour, toss in a teaspoon of baking powder and around half a teaspoon of salt. Now I tend to oversalt everything, so if you like a little less salt, you can also add half the amount. Give those ingredients a quick stir and now guys the full printable recipe is available on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com so make sure to check it out for all the measurements next trickle in 250 milliliters that's one cup of boiling hot water this is fresh from the kettle and one tablespoon of melted butter vegan butter works fine too but you can also use olive oil or any flavorless oil if you prefer mix everything together i like to use a wooden spoon which is much easier than using a whisk and you'll end up with a very thick, very sticky dough. So once everything is incorporated, you can let the dough sit for around 10 minutes. And in the meantime, you can prepare the other things. So you'll need to make some cinnamon sugar that you roll the churros in. This is just 50 grams or a quarter cup of granulated sugar mixed with one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You can sprinkle the sugar onto the plate and now it is ready to go. I also have here around 500 ml, that's two cups of oil that's been heating up. Any flavorless oil will do, such as canola, sunflower, or vegetable. When the 10 minutes are up, you can scoop the churro dough into a piping bag fitted with a 1M star nozzle. You don't have to use a nozzle if you don't have one, but the star tip definitely makes the churros more aesthetic, and it also helps it hold the cinnamon sugar in, so if you can get one, please do. Now I'm using a plastic piping bag, a firmer material will work better though, so if you have one made of something thicker, go for that. A Ziploc bag is also an option, but in my experience they do break more easily, especially because the dough is so thick. So when the oil is nice and hot, you can squeeze the piping bag to release the churro mixture, around 5-6cm to six centimeters in length, and I like to use a knife that's been lightly greased with some oil to help me drop the churro batter into the oil. You could also just use a spoon and fry dollops of the churro mixture, but you have to admit it kind of spoils the royalty of a churro, so definitely pipe it if you can. I like to fry it three to four at a time till they develop a nice golden brown color, then use a slotted spoon with holes to remove the churros from the oil. Place the churros onto a plate that's been lined with paper towels to absorb some of the oil, and when they're all fried up, you can dip the churros in the cinnamon sugar. Now these are best served when they're nice and crisp and hot. And of course, you can't forget that chocolate sauce. The first time I made these, my family consumed the entire plate in about two minutes. That's how good they were. They're nice and crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Super easy to make and the perfect treat that is guaranteed to please anyone. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make these churros. For more recipes like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you are the first to know when I upload new videos. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.